Welcome to Home Cinema and Tech Review. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at two different type of projectors. And this is a guide video. Don't get this wrong. You're going to learn a lot of stuff. So get yourself a cup of coffee or tea and try to enjoy this tutorial and guide. It will be very helpful if you're ever considering to purchase a brand new LED or bulb projector. It will change the way you look at the projectors and in the budget way of course let's just open up the lights and talk about the concept here i am in the studio and this is an led projector i'm not going to reveal their models because i will be reviewing them later on this is a bull projector with when in the super echo mode it's around 25 to 30 thousand probably lamp life hours of lamp life similar to the led projector let's just count to 20 thousand very close to 30 thousand limit considering the brightness right now you can see the bull projector brightness and you can't really see with the thousands of lights of studio of course led projector it normal it's normal with the white wall let's close a couple of the lights and right now i'm looking at the same picture all the lights are closed only one layer of light of the studio is open this is a bright room you can read books so you can clearly see the difference but the obvious problem is the bull projector is in the super echo mode let's get it to the normal mode you might think that you voila moment you understand the brand of it but you don't know the model of it so the difference is obvious i will close the lights because right now you might be missing out how much of a difference there is think about it 10 times more powerful if you want to expand the image get a bigger size this makes a huge difference between these two projectors and as you can see right now it's playing from a 4k dongle the non-smart model boot model and the smart model is full hd and it's kind of like a lacking the overall quality where they overlap the sharpness is obvious but the one of the important thing is this image is from 720p projector this image is ideally on the declaration full hd led projectors some people say that i am expecting too much from a cheap projectors like 100 120 dollar projectors in the second hand market this is one of my upcoming bargain videos this projector is about 200 250 dollar depending on your region maybe you can buy cheaper so this is a 720p hdmi non-smart bull projector with a lot of power and a lot of you know adjustability when it comes down to the tuning of the visual so you won't be able to do the same uh, you know adjustments for the color uh, sharpness and tuning and stuff for this small led ones and basically one has a huge glass the other one has a small glass one has a huge sensor the other one has just a small sensor comparing both of them might not be logical to you yes there are reasons to buy each one of them depending on your situation but from my point of view i made it clear smart projectors are loved to use and enjoyable but if you're going to create something you have to um, spend the budget in a correct way and if it's also about depending on what you want to achieve okay because the cost of the bull projector will going to increase with the extensions that you need like if you need a dongle dongle is an extra cost but look at the difference again just watch this is full hd and is lacking to play it's not just about the connections it's not a pretty good projector with the one probably gigabytes of uh, ram and the other one is 2 to 16 gigabyte 4k dongle playing a way better image so i will open up at least one light to get in front of the camera again in this video i just want to make clear yes there are cost differences this will overall cost you maybe 1.5 to 2 times but don't be fooled by the resolutions of 720p still known brand 720p projectors are way better in the video than the led small projectors many of them but there are a lot of reasons you should be choosing led over bulb because they have smart functions they have android built inside so you don't uh, you don't have to fiddle with 
HDMI dongle like this. Right now what I'm doing, I've connected through the splitter, but this device didn't give me HDMI choice, so we're stuck with the internals of it. Otherwise, I should have given the same visual with the HDMI splitter, but this one didn't work. So I just get along with it. So shoot the video right now. I'm playing inside of this smart one and that dongle separately. So what I want to say is good dongle 4K Chromecast and Realme or Apple TV, it depends on what you want to do, it's going to cost you. The dongle might be costing like $25 to $40 depending on your what you choose, but I suggest choose 4K dongles because giving a 4K video single uh, signal, it will be another video, will create huge amount of depth to your videos. Uh, and I made a dedicated couple of short videos, you'll be finding them in the description. So if you buy a good dongle, that adds another $25 to $40 range of cost to a non-smart bulb projector like this. So it will increase the total cost, but the difference is huge. So it's up to you whether you want to spend $100, $120 and later on realize if you see something bulb like this, hey, difference is huge, sharpness is huge. So why did I pay for that? Kind of like a feeling, then you should gather your money and get a bulb one if you're going to go cheap on the LED ones. But this is just about this projector. There are other projectors out there with more sharpness and better smart functions, but they cost about $160 to $200 range. So I reviewed in the channel, yes, if you go up in the LED projectors, you're going to get better. But still, the brightness levels with the 3000 or about the 3000 like 4000 for 720p projectors will give you the option of using to be able to use them like this size this is probably 85 to 90 inch size okay not even 100 inch but still this is a very acceptable image and the brightness is very good right now the room is quite lit i can really easily read a book around the corner where the lights are on right now this is kind of like a dim spot of the room but overall this is a studio with lots of lights so you're not going to probably use your projector like this you're going to close the lights and again i will remind you if i close the lights this is the result this is the obvious difference and let me just go back to the echo mode okay right now this is normal mode echo mode and super echo mode even the super echo mode has a huge difference, okay? So in the super echo mode, you're going to have the same amount of lifetime from a bulb, uh, good new generation 720p projectors. When you do it dynamic, look what the difference is. The difference is obvious. I don't have to tell you. If I put it to dynamic, you're going to get probably around 10 to 15 thousands of lamp life. I could spend another $20 to $30 for the lamp if I'm going to expose like this. So it's up to you. What do you want to do? If you're going to use it in a bedroom, in a small room with a less than 100 inch, let's just say 85, this is 85 to 90. But if you're going to go 75 inch for the kids room, you might want to go cheaper route with the built-in Android. But if you're going to create an image, big image, like um, let's just say 85 and above, 100 and above, then the 720p options are still out there. And I made a dedicated video how you can find the cheapest second hand or alternative projectors with uh, not much of a known resolutions. So if you haven't watched that tutorial and a guide, just go back and watch them, how you can find bargain, you know, the steps between of different products. So you can clearly find maybe even higher resolution products than 720p like 1600 to 1200 resolutions those are very close to the full hd but still a lot less expensive so you can find your gap and you can find your niche in the projectors if you're on a tight budget but if you're still not on a tight budget i suggest to think about again where will i use the leds if i buy around 160 dollar which i always recommend don't go below 150 too much too much you might be finding a bargain, you can ask me at the comment sections, you can ask people, you can use these sort of videos on, in the channel as like a community to help people, the overall, you know, information that you got 
over the time, maybe using lots of LEDs or boot projectors, you can share your information in the channel. It will be useful for the people. But when you're looking at these two images, the difference is obvious. So I don't have to tell you anything else. This is way sharper than this projector in a much more obvious way. And I haven't even probably sharpened this projector. This projector has a lot way to go adding a digital sharpness to it. One more thing, the brightness, what the brightness is for, if you want to go above 100 inch, I can use this 720p projector, even if it's not ideal, and I told in my other videos, I can go 120 inch with this amount of light. Because when you want to increase the size, you need light. When you go back, when you go big, you lose the light. When, uh, what, uh, whether your projector is short throw, ultra short throw, it doesn't matter. If you want to go big, think about it like a torch. If you increase the size of your torch light, you're going to lose amount of light. You're not going to be concentrating it. So the same thing applies here. So if you want to go big, you need more light. That's one of the specs. Maybe that's another whole another tutorial, how much light you need for how much, you know, size. It could be another tutorial if you ask uh, for the in the comment section below. So this projector will easily create 100 and above 120, 130 in the house and you're going to enjoy the picture quality. But if you ask me for the 720p, I would stay up to 100 inch. If you go above, again with the full hd and 720p and if you're going to sit kind of like a four meter five meter range of small house distances so then you're going to re realize a lot of pixelization happening so you need above uh, full hd resolution so it's up to you you can really enjoy it if you go back like you have the distance you're go not going to realize the pixels and if you're going to play with your console it's not going to bother you i can guarantee that so we can also do a similar setup like this. Let's just say this is a gameplay situation. I know this video is getting longer, but let's just say, uh, try to find a video about uh, Forza 5. Forza 5, okay. So we got Forza 5 video here. Forza Horizon 5, okay, RTX 9000. And I will be again using this to go back right now you're going to see the gameplay on the left of course let's just try to figure out okay since i don't have a voice command here i need to write you're going to be waiting a little while forza forza yeah so i'm going to match don't worry i'm going to do my best yep we find the image, right? RTX 4090. I don't believe that anyone has the RTX 4090 will be using the cheap projector in this video. So, yeah. Again, hopefully this will play too. I guess this is the commercial. Let's go back. Skip the commercial. Okay. By the way, you're seeing the smart functions are low. Like these sort of cheap projectors have one to 16 or one to eight gigabytes of storage. So that'll also lowers the performance of their smart functions. And I made a dedicated video and Linus made a dedicated video, Linus Tech Tips, if you haven't know them. Like you can go back, check, they have millions of subscribers. So let's just stop this here and try to match it. Play it and go a little forward. Because of the infrared, this is not a Bluetooth receiver, okay? This is not a Bluetooth. Let's just go back again. As you can see, it failed. It's also another problem. Like I, I literally, you know, Forza 5, yes, Forza Horizon 5, it just find it again. By the way, you're also witnessing a live problem that this sort of projectors have. One more issue is you don't know the inside Android version, okay? I will try to match the sequence with you 
with the other projector. Let's just go. By the way, you, you are seeing I can't go the same way that the other one is going because of the internals. That's one of the problems. And Linus Tech Tips also mentioned, and we already know, I mention it most of the time, you are not sure about the internal safety of the um, Android built inside of these devices. The reason being is you don't know the firmware version, you don't know who developed it. So if you don't trust the brand, there might be a security issues. Like if you go Google Play account on it, if you use your Netflix account on it, your credit card is going to be in it. So it might be a possible future problem. So I have to go back a little bit because again, the remote con control is not going to function like the other one because this is not a Bluetooth remote control, but IR. So I have to go back at the back like I need to use here, okay? So this is 720p. I want to make things equal to go full HD. Again, if everything goes right, okay, I hit the button, hit it. Everything seems working very slowly. So you see the obvious difference. And I need to, of course, not kill it too much. Like I need to get out from the YouTube menu. But the result is here talking to itself. Like hit the button again. Ah, uh, I am so much like, pissed about this. Really, it's nearly impossible to use this sort of device. Like, it needs to be fast. So, here is another problem that you have to face. If you spend another $20 for a smart dongle, you're going to give the best signal ever to the device, okay? So, let's just try to find the same image. The up top, you're going to see the load times. Both of them connected to the same Wi-Fi, but one of them working awful. The other one is working great. So I'm going to go back again. Okay, this scene. Try to match them. So you've seen the difference between two devices, okay? In the end of the video, choosing is your option. I'm just giving you the directions here. I'm not talking about the LEDs or bad because I love them. LEDs or laser projectors are going forward. This is the way to go. But easy to change the LED instead of an LED, easy to change bulb with the long life, with the super echo mode. And I'm going to go to the dynamic, instead of dynamic super echo. This is super echo, okay? You're not going to be using in a dynamic mode in a dark room. You don't need it. This is far more enough. But if you want extra brightness to show off more power when in the gameplay, in the movies, that's the option. So there's not much, I guess, to talk about. This video got long because of the uh, device's specs and stuff, but you'll get the idea. You'll choose the best. Uh, let me know what you think at the comment section below. If you have learned anything, try to hit thumbs up and try to subscribe. At the comment section, YouTube love comments. Just say hi, support the YouTube channel to grow because this video takes time and it's difficult to get gather the knowledge and devices together to teach you. Um, you know by now, this is not my setup. My personal setup is different. You can see the other videos in the channel and subscribe for more home cinema and tech review. Bye, until the next video, hoşçakalın.